morning everyone and welcome back to Back Max I. In today's video, we're going to be <laughs> and today we're going to be reducing nickel sulfate to nickel metal using sodium metal because in my last videos I tried to make nickel metal with magnesium and aluminum and it just didn't work so I figure why not increase the power of reducing capabilities. So here's what we're going to need. Two beakers, sodium metal, nickel sulfate, and I'm going to be using copper sulfate as a control to see if it even works with copper sulfate and sodium metal. So let's prepare our control solution, copper sulfate and water. Alright, so I transferred it to a smaller beaker because I figured the reaction would look better. So yeah, let's add the sodium metal. Okay, so while I take a piece of sodium out, let's explain why this reaction happens. So what's going to happen is that the sodium metal is going to be oxidized because it loses its... Fight! Okay, here we go. Um, it's going to be oxidized because it loses its valence electron, and the copper 2 ion in the copper sulfate is going to be reduced to copper metal. Let's take a piece of copper, I mean, uh, sodium out. Let's cut this one in half because I don't want to waste my precious sodium. Okay, let's see if we make some copper metal. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. Looks like we got a black uh, precipitate, and I think it's working. Hope it doesn't explode. Oh, whoa, nice. Okay, so that was a lovely reaction. As you can tell from unorthodox reduction reactions like this one, um, you never really can tell what happens, but you will know that it will be exciting. So, let's uh, filter out the copper precipitate. Here's something cool I just saw. See these uh, silver beads? That's the sodium that uh, splattered out. It's reacting right there. Let's get some copper. Okay, so the copper sulfate has finished filtering and there are the black pieces, so let's get them out. Okay, well, in theory. So, it did produce copper powder, meaning the sodium did reduce the copper 2 sulfate to the copper metal. Okay, so since we have seen that the sodium reduction of copper sulfate to copper metal worked, let's move on to the reduction of nickel sulfate to nickel metal. Let's make a nickel sulfate solution real quick. Alright, here's the nickel sulfate solution. Let's add the sodium much slower than the last time because I'd rather have less violent, less unsafe than that last time. This time I'm behind my blast shield and uh, let's add that natrium, boy. Let's cut off super small pieces. Yay, nickel metal, please don't break my beaker. Okay, I see black bits in it already, so that's good. Let's keep adding. And the white stuff you see is sodium sulfate. Nice. Okay.
Okay, so we had a successful little run right there. See these uh, black trails? That was the uh, trails that the sodium left behind as it skitters across. And that only happens every so often. So that's the nickel metal. 